Let's begin by looking at a Word document. We all use Word for our essays and reports. It's an everyday tool and it developed initially from the typewriter and became the word processor and gradually developed into the word program we use today. Word is a very sophisticated piece of software and it adopts some practices and shortcuts and styles that are used within professional design software like Adobe InDesign. So tools and shortcuts and techniques that one applies within a professional program like Adobe InDesign can sometimes also be found, perhaps to a lesser extent, within the Word program. Let's look at this Word document as an example. As we can see, the hierarchy is such, I'm just going to bring up the styles, and if I bring that style, I'm going to open that up and drag it over here within the window. So we can see that um, the first line, I'd given it a style of title, second one subtitle, H1 heading, H2, H3, and so on. And I've done this in order to demonstrate some of the styles. Having created a Word document using these styles, and many of them I can format on the fly by using the shortcuts. For example, control button plus one, two, or three on the keyboard creates the formatting for the H1 tag, the H2 tag, and the H3 tag. And you can customize the shortcuts as well. So let's look at the design template. At the moment, we're using my default template for a Word document. If I start any blank Word document, it uses this formatting for headings. But on the fly, I can change this to the design style I've used on another document. If I go across, I can change it to another one. And if I hold my mouse over, I can see this is actually the set of styles that I used when I was creating your week by week schedule. The next one is basic elegant. Basic. Basic stylish and so on. And we can see that there are some very formal design templates and some less formal. And you can either choose one of these templates or you can invent your own by adapting an existing one normally. So this is one, a template that I used for a recent periodic review. This is a template that I used for creating documents for this actual module magazine design. Now, because I've created the Word document using this basic heading hierarchy, it means that I can create a table of contents also and other tools I can use. So I'm just going to turn it to a template earlier. This one will do. And for example, having written a document, I can insert a table of contents. So I'll put the cursor here. And here again, I can choose from various styles. And here are some examples of the layouts. I can look for more on the internet and I can customize the table of contents as well. As you can see, it's created a table of contents based on the headings that I've got. If I 
alter the template by removing some letters, then I can update the template and it will update if I want the entire table. I could also, of course, write an enormous document and if I, for example, this point, I'll just insert a page break. Uh, uh, uh. I can find the layout page break. So now the document has got some sections on page two. I can go to the table of contents, update the entire table, and you can see now that heading three is now on page two. So I can set up my Word document and with the correct formatting, it allows me to create a consistent design style and go back to the design style afterwards. And if I wish, I can completely design this Word document by only making changes to the design template itself or by choosing another design template. Next, we're going to look at some examples from the professional magazine template within InDesign.